Well, good morning, YouTube. Welcome to Dude RV. This morning, we're gonna get on the road a little bit early, and we're gonna head to a Corps of Engineer campground located on a small lake, Bardwell Lake, just south and west of Ennis. We're gonna spend the day and one night at Waxahachie Creek Park, it's a COE campground on Bardwell Lake. So let's get on the road and head to Waxahachie Creek Park on Lake Bardwell. Well, here we are, Waxahachie Creek Park. Waxahachie Creek Park, Bardwell Lake. We are in site number 14. We're in site number 14 today. It is a pull through site. Man, this, this is a beautiful park. Great big old pecan trees. We're gonna check that out shortly. Site number 14, end of the road, pull through site. <clears throat> Very flat, it is water and 30 amp. There's a Bodark tree. So site number 14, we've got a barbecue, a charcoal grill that's seen better days <laughs> we've got a wood pavilion that also has seen better days the roof is rotting out we got a square table a fire pit and best of all, we have got western shade. So the sun is gonna be setting over there. And since it's July, that's a good thing. Very pretty. Now, I, when I was rolling in here, I was talking to someone about the word Bodark, spelled B-O-I-E-S-D with a hyphen, A-R-C, Bodark, 
Well, that is this tree right here. Also known as an Osage orange tree. See if we can see one of those yeah, right there. See, when you see those big green balls, it's called an Osage orange. Uh, they're not edible. I don't know why they call them horse apples. Horses don't like them. Uh, old wives' tail. They are good to throw. If you had a pier and beam house, you could throw them, supposedly, I, I don't know, they said you could throw them under the house and it would keep the bugs away. I don't know. What I do know is that is the hardest tree in North America. That boat art wood is that's tough stuff, but it's beautiful. All right, I just arrived and I'm having to do litter patrol because someone can't pick up after themselves. But so far, that's the only litter I have encountered here at Waxahachie Creek Park. All right, so I'm gonna gear up and we're gonna go. Wait a minute. Wait a minute. <laughs> All right, so this is an Osage orange. This is a kind of a green one. This is not full size yet. It'll get about the size of a softball. Very solid. You'll see uh, pack rats like to eat them. That's about the only thing that will eat them, as far as I know. All right, so we're going to gear up and we're going to go check out Waxahachie Creek Park. All right, we have made it down to the end of the road here at Waxahachie Creek Park. The end of the road is a boat ramp. For all of you boat ramp fans, this is a three laner. There's actually, it looks like two courtesy docks down here so we're, we're gonna walk down here and check it out this one looks like it's uh, no longer functional good thing I didn't try to scoot her down here Well, how about that? That's a bit of a problem. All right, well, let's go see some more stuff. Not too sure why, but this loop is closed off. And that's a shame because it'd be nice camping under these big trees. It looks like it's been closed off for quite some time. So when I when I rolled in, I thought, well, the there's not a not a whole lot of people camping in this park today because I saw this. All right, well, let's go see what else we can get into. Well, it looks like there's only one facility. This is a, a shower. There's four showers. There's no concrete. And there's lots, lots of goat head stickers. No lights. So if you're coming up here in the dark, it's going to be dark. Waxahachie Creek Park has lots of beautiful trees. Check out these primitive campsites. A great place to camp in the fall and in the spring. Unfortunately, it's a nice it's a nice weekend. We, we are it's the end of July 
July 2020, we had a cool front move through yesterday. And so our temperature today, we're like 91 degrees. <laughs> it's so cool, so fantastic. Let's go see some more stuff. I snuck down, I snuck past the barricade. Go down here and check out the boat ramp. See if this guy's catching any fish. You know, I was gonna fish, but I realized after I got on the road the other day that I had left the fishing license at home and that's a $400 fine. So no fishing today. Well, he just got started, so he couldn't tell me what's biting. I think I'm gonna go find some lunch. I just found out something cool. If you're camping at Bardwell Lake, you have Wi-Fi. Shows up as Bardwell Lake Wi-Fi and it's open. Just don't do any sensitive data kind of stuff. And it's, the tower's right here by the, the dump station. Uh, <laughs> which means you gotta come over here because unless you've got a, a Wi-Fi Ranger type setup, all of the campsites with connections are out of range. Here at Waxahachie Creek Park, there are only three 50 amp sites. I just learned that. I was looking at the map. And one of those, I had, it looks to be permanently occupied. And it's that one. So that's a 50 amp, and that's a 50 amp. And I believe that one is a 50 amp. And according to the map that she gave me, there's three sites that are closed over here, but they sure look occupied to me. All right, after cruising around looking at all the sites, and of course that's most half the park is closed, but site number six. Look at that, you got water view, your patio is facing the water. I like it. So, site number six.
<laughs> hey, check this out. That's right, bacon, baby. Bear spray bites. <laughs> Got bacon wrapped around jalapeno halves with robust, robusto, robusto cheese. Oh, man, these bad boys are going to be some good eating. <laughs> Can't wait. Waxahachie Creek Park. Bardwell Lake. I had some concerns. I, I, I don't know if I mentioned it. I know I mentioned it when I was doing the FPV run, uh, but I don't know that I mentioned it for this particular video, the experiential. The Waxahachie Creek Campground Experiential Video. I had some concerns because there's a couple of places over toward the boat ramp where it looks like people have been driving into the park without going through the gate. And anytime, well, and I've never seen that in anywhere else, but, but that raises concerns of, you know, safety. Is, are, are people going to be coming in here to take my stuff? <laughs> More of a theft concern, not a personal safety issue. Uh, but this afternoon, since I've been, I've been sitting here chilling out, I'm, I'm cooking the jalapenos. Oh, speaking of the jalapenos. Speaking of the jalapenos. Yeah, baby, look at that. We're almost done. They're almost ready. <laughs> They're gonna be good. But I'm, I'm sitting here just relaxing got the fire lap time lapse going um, and I can see the main road I, I have seen the sheriff's deputy drive through here and he I'm, I'm expecting him to come along any time now because he just went down to the boat ramp uh, but this is the second time he's been here I guess in the last two hours of, in the it's like once an hour maybe he's coming through uh, and the park someone with the, the Corps of Engineer truck the park host they're driving through the park on a regular basis as well all right so here comes the sheriff's deputy right now and you're gonna get to see him drive by just to show you that Law enforcement is doing their job. And we appreciate them for that. All right, so now it's time to pull, ooh, sun is bright. Now it's time to pull some jalapenos off and, and, and feast. I don't know if you've ever had Robusto cheese, but it is, the, uh, I am one of my, in my opinion, it's one of the best flavored cheeses, period. Oh. Look at that. Ooh, it's hot. Temperature wise. Oh. That rocks. And there is our sheriff's deputy coming through, checking us out. Keeping us safe. Good morning. Well, <clears throat> we have reached the end of our stay at Waxahachie Creek Park on Bardwell Lake. Nice little park. Um, I, th I definitely think this would be one worth uh, at least a, a one night stop if you're traveling kind of north and south from I think this will be a nice place to spend a couple days. Um, it's very sad that so much of the park is closed, but the park that is open, it's a good RV campsite. It'd be a great waypoint if you're moving north and south. You jump off, if you're moving from, coming up from Austin, San Antonio, uh, you can jump off there at Italy and cut across from Italy, headed to Ennis. 
drive right by it. Walks of Hatchie Creek Park, Bardwell Lake. If, you, if this is your first visit to Dude RV, I sure appreciate you stopping by. I hope you enjoyed it. If you did, please give me one of those thumbs up and share it across your social media. Tell all your friends and family about old Dude RV. I post a new video every Sunday morning, religiously. I try to give you the accurate truth on every campsite that I visit. For those of, the, of you that have been following along, thank you. I really appreciate it. You honor me. I guess that's all I got to say. Y'all come back now, you hear?